But when there is no power, that's the time you should actually sing some more. I used to lead songs without power, without yeah. instruments. And we used to sing like would, the roof would come off. But now, because I don't have the voice anymore, I'm old. I can't sing anymore. I try to sing, I choke. So it's very difficult. But you people, most of you are still young. You should not sing like an old, dying old woman. You should be lively. Amen. Amen. All right, may God bless you. Um, how many are going to be around next weekend? Sunday. Just show by raising your hand. Who are not traveling? Okay, how many are traveling? Raise your hand if you are not going to be around. Yeah, quite a number. You will be traveling too? No, I won't be around. I might go. Okay. So, next weekend, what date is it going to be? 16. Oh, no, it's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong calendar. Okay. The 24th is wrong. Okay, all right, that's fine. As long as there are still few of us who have service next week, but the 24th. We will not be having a service because I know from experience that people will be traveling and they will be away. So 24th, we won't have a service. That is the Christmas weekend. Then we will advise on the group uh, whether we will be having, when we will be having our next service. Uh, we ideally want to have our next service on the 29th, on the 30th, 31st rather, into the first and all night meeting. Okay. So next next weekend will be twenty will be sixteen. Okay. So Sunday will be seventeenth. So Sunday seventeenth we have our service, but twenty fourth we don't have a service. Then thirty one will be a Sunday. We have we intend to have an all night meeting on the third first on to into the first of January. So we we'll skip only one Sunday, then the other Sunday we'll have a service in the evening into the morning, uh, possibly at the farm again, where there is more space and where people are more relaxed and there are transport will be available. So that is our skeletal plan. So pray for that. If people are not around, we'll have our whole night later after that. Amen. So and uh, that's what we expect. God bless you. Uh, we we really want to move on. We don't want to be a stagnant church. We want to be people who are moving on. Each individual should really make sure that you are growing spiritually and be a better Christian. If you have any trouble in your Christian life, certain things bothering you, that's why I am there. You come over and we sit down and help each other. I don't like catching people who do wrong. You come on your own, we help each other. We catch you, we discipline you. That's how we operate. We don't want people who sneak around and do wrong we are Christians. I'm, I'm a, a very different person. That's the way God made me. Whereas other pastors will be looking for people from other pastors who come to their churches. I'll be looking for churches where to send people who don't behave right. So if you don't behave right, I know of churches that are somewhere near here where I can send you. Because they might behave more or less like you. So we'll kindly ask you to join those ones where you can do anything with impunity. So make sure if you are here, you just live right. If you can't live right, let's talk and help each other. Amen. We are not vindictive people. No, we don't do that. 
But we also expect each other to live right. Starting from myself, I should be the first one to live an exemplary life. You want to know how to dress? Look at my wife. So my wife and I will be the first one to exemplify everything. Because we don't cheat, no, that we do the right thing. That's how we believe it. No, that's not it. So when we preach and say do this, but do no, that, 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 we are that. telling you what we have already walked through, <inaudible> what we have found to work, <inaudible> so we do that. <inaudible> so we will not hesitate to send anyone to the nearest churches, <inaudible> which are more or less like... Uh, <inaudible> Because there are plenty of churches which are hunting for people like you. So we will ask you to kindly go and be with them. We actually phone their pastors and say, you have one more ship. And we send you there. That's how I operate. And I believe that is the right thing. I have no problem with someone who makes mistakes. We can always sit and correct each other in private and uh, help each other grow. That is part of the Christian life. I have a problem with someone who sneaks around and hides and lies. And when you do that, you should know that you are very close to going to that church that is near Amen. So, God bless you. Uh, so, we say next Sunday we still have our service. At next Sunday, we still have uh, we are also hoping that, uh, like uh, Brother Musa mentioned, we are going to procure uh, uh, what do you call this thing? The inverter. Yeah, an inverter. Uh, we will try and procure it within the first three months of next year so that we have it in place so that we never fail to have power thank God that we have uh, done well with the other equipment and um, we have never led in terms of these things remember we had uh, a very good system from day one that came from among you which has been so good to us and we have now added lots of things replaced some things and uh, we continue to do that because we need to have to do the best for the lord amen, amen. god bless you um so we want to stand to our feet and uh open our bibles to the book of revelation chapter 6 revelation 6 from verse 12 to 17. to 17. Amen. The Bible says, And I behold, when it opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. And the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casted her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. And even the mountains and islands which moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and mighty men and every born man and free man hid themselves in the dens and rocks of the mountains. And said unto the mountains and rocks, Follow us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. 
and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Shall we pray again? Lord Jesus, we see that oncoming storms of judgment are here upon us. Lord, we see, Lord, the prelude, the beginning of things, the turn of events upon us. And we pray, Lord, that, Father, you prepare us as there is a time that is come when the bride has to get out of the scene, when we have to get off the stage, Lord, for things to happen that should not happen in our presence. We pray, Lord, this morning that you speak to our hearts, Lord, and prepare us for your coming. We thank you and commit everything in your hands. Bless the hearing of the word, Lord Jesus Christ, and may your anointing be here upon us, Lord. We pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. We may take our seats. Amen. Uh, today we are moving on to something. We are still following our thoughts, but we just want to tweak the title a little bit. Amen. And say you don't want to be here then. You don't want to be here then. Amen. Glory. Now we are reading in the Bible here about the sixth seal, which is the time, Brother Branham says, the sixth seal is a total interruption of nature. When things are no longer the same, things will change totally. Now, one thing that I've always stressed is that these things that we are teaching do not happen in sequence. They are overlapping. As we shall see, the prophet says they happen in a cluster. So while this thing is happening, this is happening, that is happening, that is happening, that is happening. But when we teach it normally, we try to make it go picture it like it happens in in series. But the majority of these events are not in series. They are in a cluster. So we are seeing here in the sixth seal. But when it is open, there is a great earthquake. And the sun becomes as black as a cloth of hair. But the same prophet goes on to say, the sixth seal, every trumpet happens under the sixth seal. And trumpets have been sounding since the days of Moses. So the sixth seal has been there since then. And yet, Certain events of the sixth seal have not happened. So if you try to put these things in series, you will fail to get it right. So we are seeing these things happening. We want to locate these things that are highlighted in the sixth seal within the timeline of events. In the book of in Matthew, the 24th chapter, the Bible says, Watch therefore, Matthew 24, 42, for you know not the hour the Lord doth come. But now know this, that if the good men of the house had known what to, in what watch the thief would come, he would not have what you would have watched and would not have suffered this house to be broken into. Therefore, be also ready. For in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. Amen. Now we say it. 
There is war ravaging Israel. And we showed why that war is in place. What it is doing for the Jews. And we showed its significance to the bride of Christ. Now we are focusing on the foolish virgin. What that war means to the foolish virgin. But before we even talk about that, we want you to understand who the foolish virgin is. When you understand who they are, then you know what implications that war has on them. And you can also identify yourself in the timeline and where you belong. Now we want to go together to the book of St. Matthew chapter 25 and read together there because there is something very important that we want to pull out of there. St. Matthew 25. Matthew 25. Uh, are we there? St. Matthew 25. We want to see about this foolish virgin who they are. From verse 1, the Bible says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lambs and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Now keep your Bibles open because we're going to be explaining things as we go. So these are ten they are not four women. Four women. They are real good women. Virgin. Clean, pure. And we know a woman in the Bible types a church. So this is a church that is full of virgins. Is there any manga? And they are given in type as ten. Pure and clean. They are not like the world. They believe. And they take their lambs to go forth to meet the bridegroom. Who is the bridegroom? It's Christ. The Christ. So they are all preparing to meet Christ. What a wonderful church. Preparing to meet Christ. Verse 2 says the five of them were wise and the five were foolish. So although the ten of them are virgins, it so happens that five are wise and five are foolish. So in a church of pure people, who believe the word who stand for the truth who fight for the gospel truth they are wise people and they are foolish people how are they foolish ones let's see the bible verse 3 and they that were foolish took their lambs and took no oil therein. They were in church. They went to church. They prayed. They fasted. They attended church. They gave their tithe. They did everything that is expected. But they had no oil. What is oil? Oil is the Holy Ghost. Amen. Oil is the Holy Ghost. So they did not have the Holy Ghost. That was their problem. So they kept coming to church. But without the Holy Ghost. And that is what the Bible is saying is their foolishness. Coming to church. Being a brother or a sister. Dressing right. Talking right. Now we are not talking of people who misbehave. Those ones are already left out. We are talking of good people. Who are here? Who are doing what is expected? But the Bible is saying they are foolish. And their folly is in that they do not have oil. 
Oil is the Holy Ghost. So the prophet says it's compelling. It's imperative. It's extremely important that every believer must have the Holy Ghost. Because he says without the Holy Ghost, you can never go in the rapture. So those who don't have the Holy Ghost, but are expecting the coming of Christ, whether they are living right, they are being foolish. Because now look at it this way. If you are doing right, you do so many good things. You become like a Pharisee who believes that they go to heaven because of good works. Your works will take you nowhere. There are so many good people out there. But your works will take you nowhere. It takes more than your works. It takes the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost is God living in you. When the rapture comes, Christ is coming to take part of himself. So if you don't have him in you, it means he can't take you. Because our God is not a thief. He does not take what doesn't belong to him. So if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you are not part of him. You may be part of the church, but you are not part of Christ. Christ is not coming to take those who are part of the church. He is coming to take part of himself. It's like a woman who says, I'm so good. I'm everything that is expected of a woman. So one of these days, when there is a wedding, that woman decides to walk up there to that wedding. They say, now I'm the bride. No, there is a bride already chosen. You may be purer than this chosen bride. You may be better than this chosen bride. But because you are not chosen, you don't hate what it takes to be the bride to this bride. And Christ requires nothing of us except his own life in us by the Holy Ghost. Are we together, church? So what makes these five virgins foolish? They drew oil in their lamps. Amen. Amen. But the wise took oil in their vessels and with their lamps. So that's the only difference. Nothing but the Holy Ghost. When it comes to works, both of them helped the poor, both of them did this. Both of them did this, and they were like the same. But the difference is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. There is a difference between the baptism of the Holy Ghost and anointing of the Holy Ghost. One may be anointed by the Holy Ghost and do so many good works and pray and fast and speak in tongues and prophesy and preach and do every good work. They can do that by the Holy Ghost. But that is not all. There is something more than just being a good person. Amen. Glory. It's something more than being a good person. God bless you, brother. Amen. 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 So, the difference Amen. between a wise virgin Amen. and a foolish virgin, Amen. between a brother Amen. who is going in the rapture Amen. and a brother who is not going in the rapture Amen. is not the title. Amen. Both of them are brothers. Amen. Both of them are sisters. Amen. Both of them are pastors. Amen. Both of them are preachers. But the difference is one has oil, the other has no oil. 
That's where you find the foolishness. So when the Bible speaks of foolishness, the, the difference is nothing more than the Holy Ghost. Nothing more than the Holy Ghost. Everything else. We may be the same. We may even wear the same size of clothes. Preach the same sermon. Gather in the same way. Sing the same songs. Pray and fast. And do all the good works. Then the reputation of being good people that is fine. That makes you a virgin. But without the Holy Ghost, you are a virgin, yes. But a foolish one. So the foolish virgin is not somebody who is going around in a church uniform in the denomination. It's not somebody who is pretending to be good. Man. Foolish virgin comprises of very good people. Wonderful brothers. People you can count on. People you can lean on. People who can preach. People who can start churches. But they don't have the Holy Ghost. They are doing all these things. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, not by the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So the Bible is saying they both had lambs, the foolish and the wise. And they were both waiting for the coming of the bride. So we are all waiting for the coming of Christ. But the difference. Is not in our works. No. Our works differ from those who are outside. Here, our works will basically be the same. If your works are different, you don't belong here. You can come and ask me. I'll call another pastor who loves people like you and send you there. I always stress this. I'm not a pastor who is looking for people yeah, to come to this pastor. church. I'm looking for pastors where I can send people from here. Those who are looking for money, if you have money, I'll send you there. If you don't live right, I have an idea of those who don't live right too. I'll call them and say, there is your brother. Please receive him. We'll do that. That I will do very happily. And you'll still be free to come to my house. You'll still be free to fellowship with us out there. We'll still call you brother. We'll still be happy with you. But we'll be happy that you actually fellowship where you belong. Because if you come here and go, this is not the right church for you. You are delaying the rapture. You are supposed to go. When we come in January, don't come. Because I said on the 25th, 26th, is it? When, when Sunday, the Sunday we don't have services? It's the 24th. The, the 24th. Yeah. On the 24th. Just when everyone of you is free to go to you any message to church, to church or even denomination and go there. If you find your heart set on call me and tell me. No, I finally found a place no for myself. No problem. We would rather be two of us and doing and being supposed to be here. So the Bible is saying the Bible difference Bible. between the foolish and wise person is not anything more than the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Glory. Verse 5. While the bridegroom tarried and the they all slumbered and slept. So this hour we're living in. Is the midnight hour when people naturally sleep? That's why you find people if you sleep in church. Because we are in the midnight hour where people naturally sleep. If it's the wise virgin sleep, the foolish virgin sleep. So there is a certain degree of coldness that going among the people. Why is that the power of scripture? It's an hour with people. You just can't sing. Like you are being forced to go. 
You can't come to church. Like you're being forced. You can't be bright. It's like you're being forced. Everything is like this. Yeah. Being because people have grown cold. Why? 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 Midnight hour! In time when people sleep, is the spirit of the hour. So the bridegroom tarries. You know in Israel, Israel? They, uh, uh, that will take another thing. But if this is read to a Jewish person, it means more than it means to us. Because they did exactly this midnight hour thing. They are married arrangement. Okay, that's a subject for another day. So what the bridegroom tells you? They all they say, not south. Don't tell me how part of the bridegroom are left. They all left. That spirit of slumber can come to a pastor, to a preacher, to a deacon, to anyone. Because the Bible doesn't say some of them slept. It says they all slept. They slept. But of course in sleeping we don't sleep the same. There are some people who when they sleep, the thieves can come and take them off the bed. It's a type of sleeping. Degree. It's a level. It's different. It's different. There are people that sleep with their head this side. By the time they wake up, the head is this way. Mararo. That's oversleeping. So we are different the way we sleep. But get to You can hear him sound. You'll be sounding. Oh. Oh. Sounding. Oh. Sounding. It's not their fault. It's how they are made. Don't blame them. It's their fault. That's how they are made. Don't mask it. I snow too. In the day, don't go no. Maybe not as noise, but I do. But at this point, I don't know. Is that you don't go no? Neku kura. With growing up, they come. Okay. With age, you end up snoring. So, while they slumber, they slept. All of them. What happened? The bridegroom tarried. Hands the jump on Bachaka no no. It's like Christ is late. Like I was telling you, so who they one they time my pastor went to the house, he went to the pastor and went to the generation shall not pass. Nine forty six. Nine forty six. Plus forty eight. Plus forty eight. Nineteen eighty six. Nineteen eighty six. Lord, you left. Come. He is one of our own. And I wanted to drop out of school. The other one was here to go. Because I thought there was no more time. But the Bible is saying, "Wow, they slumbered." Hanzivakarara. Why? Because the right to carry. So it will appear like Christ said. So it will appear like Christ said. So it will appear like Christ said. One day I think now we never thought we'd see it. But you can't say that you can't say brother. That if you call a person a brother, they'll get angry. As I know the brother Branham says. But she says brother Branham says. I say that you can't say that you can't say that. But because we haven't called him bishop, can I apostle or apostle? Can I prophet or prophet? And it's Asha. You can't think. I saw the guy to brother Branham say. But he says brother Branham. Charlie, we don't get our range. What is he trying to say? He is bigger than brother Branham. He did brother Zagat. I'm brother Zagat. And while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered in sleep. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold! The bridegroom coming. Why else to meet him? And all those virgins arose. They said, They said, They said, They said, They said, They said, The preaching of the gospel that is making the virgins arise. What message does? Yes, you must have the message. The message is waking us up. 
before the bridegroom cometh. Amen. Glory. Go ye out to meet him. And the Bible says, Dave, and all those virgins arose. The foolish and the wise. Those with one and those without arose. Amen. Glory. And trimmed their lamps. No, Baba Baba Zamaran. Baba Baba Zamaran. That's where that difference now comes to play. No, Baba Baba Zamaran. Amen. And the fully say down to the wife. No, Baba Baba Zamaran. That's what we need Brother. Give us some of your own for our lamps are gone out. Give us some of your oil for the our lamps are going out. Now they are realizing the difference. There comes the day when you realize the difference between you and the Holy Ghost filled believer. God will give you the opportunity. Give us some of your oil. Our lamps go out. But the wise answer they say, Not so. Let there be not enough for us and you. But, but go ye rather to them that sell. And buy for yourself. Brother, and I will church. Go to church, brother. And pray. Maybe you get the Holy Ghost. I cannot give you parts of my Holy Ghost. I cannot give you anything. You have to pray. And cry to the Lord. And get the Holy Ghost from the Lord. You don't get the Holy Ghost from your brother. You don't get the Holy Ghost from a pastor. There is no pastor who gives the Holy Ghost. If you hear such, that's a lie. No preacher gives anyone the Holy Ghost. It's God who gives the Holy Ghost to them that obey Him. That's what the Bible says. Don't go to the Bible. So this brother says, no, brother, go and buy. Go to the preachers and get it. But it's the wrong time. And while they went to buy, now they are starting to fast. They are starting to fast and pray. The bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage. To the three and a half years marriage. Three and a half years the marriage. Those who were ready. Those who had the Holy Ghost. Those who had oil. What happened to the foolish ones who did not do? Let us see. Because we are saying we are now focusing on the foolish. What happened? So those who were wise went into the marriage. Amen. Glory. And the door was shut. When Noah's, when the door into Noah's ark was shut, door in Noah it was not Noah who closed it. God Himself did the shutting. The Bible says it's Him who, when He closes, nobody opens. When He opens, nobody closes. If you are closed out by such a way, no opportunity. Get in you are done for finish. There is no way of coming in. Because that hand, when it closes, no other hand can open. When it opens, no one can close. So they came in, the door was shut. Afterwards, also came the, the other foolish virgins. Saying, Lord! Lord! Open for us. You should have knocked now. Not then. Because the Bible says, knock and it shall be opened and So you knock now. You don't knock after the rapture. They are trying to pray after the rapture. I preached to you and I say. The day of judgment. The issue of worshiping God is not there. The day of judgment. 
the message is not necessary. It's now. When you can knock, you can knock. 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 Then you can't be there. You can't knock your, your way into. So they knock. The Lord has opened open and open. But he answered them. Said, Why do you call me Lord, Lord? Verily I say unto you, Verily I say unto you, But he answered and said, I know you know. Then he said, Why do you call me Lord, Lord? Verily I say unto you, I know you know. And the prophet says, For of God, Man, you will say, What's in this supposed to be a What's in this supposed to be a And the voice will say, It's it's done, it has happened. Already. But you did not know it. I'm not That's exactly what you are reading. Here. The, the Lord will say, When they say, Open unto us, He will say, Achat. Verily I say unto you, I know you. Then the Bible concludes and says, Watch therefore. You know not the hour wherein the Son of Man comes. Is it the hour wherein the Son of Man comes? You know not the hour wherein the Son of Man comes. So that's about the foolish virgin. We are just identifying the foolish virgin. Already at this stage, you can tell for yourself who you are. Whether you are the wise virgin, or you are the foolish virgin, or you are even no virgin. Because White virgin, <laughs> foolish virgin, <laughs> and no virgin. You can put, put yourself in your own place. If the jacket fits you, put it on. Okay, now let's go back to our subject. That's okay. Amen. Now we are saying, we are talking about the foolish Virgin. Amen. Amen. The foolish virgin. I'm trying to get a... It looks like I'm missing everything here. I don't know what is happening to this tablet. Uh, the devil tries to, to fight games when I'm coming to preach. Amen. But we know that he is defeated. Amen. So the prophet warns us and he says, what? don't be one of those who when it is asked or who are going to ask the question wasn't there supposed to be a rapture? And then a voice will say to them, it has already happened and you didn't know it. Amen. I can't even find anything here. But Every day it has gone missing. This is what is, uh, That's what the devil does. Those later start Everything has just gone. This is what is, uh, we will go. Oh, okay, I got it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it's lost again. <laughs> I just want to get the highlights. I think it says the, it has uh, gone to, it has things have gone wrong here. We will go on and then we will show the devil that we don't operate by these things, we operate by the spirit of God. So we are seeing here, the foolish virgin is in this spot. Now what happened? This bride is ready to go. Because it's the wife. And when the rapture happens, the foolish virgin is left with And the prophet says, there will be a period, according to Daniel, of three and a half years. After the rapture, when so much will happen, it is last time up in heaven. 
think of? There is the marriage. Son. Where have we church or one? In Israel. To Israel. There is boldness in the light. This is the atonement. These Jews are receiving Christ. They are being baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are receiving the Holy Ghost. They are receiving the message. And the Moses in the life. But the one side of Moses in the life is the seventh trumpet. Preaching to the Jews. The other side of Moses in the life is the sixth seal. The tribulation that will be striking both the foolish virgins and the world. Now, what happens here? The prophet says, People are going to ask and say, Wasn't they supposed to be wrapped? And a voice will say to them, It has happened. But it has then the prophet gives us this scripture to show us that that's how things go. Let's go together to St. Matthew chapter 17. St. Matthew chapter 17. Matthew 17. Let me see what verse it is. Okay, Matthew 17, I'll give a background and then read the few verses. Matthew 16, you Matthew. find Christ taking Peter, James, and John up Mount Transfiguration. Matthew 16, you know, uh, uh, each of us, Peter, James, and John, what you meant about And upon the Lord. Mount, Peter, James, and John saw Moses and Elijah. Peter, James, and John, no one Moses, no area. Now, Peter, James, and John, Peter, James, and John, grown up in the Pharisee religion. And they knew what the Pharisees and the Sadducees preached. They were preaching about Malachi chapter 4. Malachi 4. That Elijah was coming. Elijah is coming. So when they saw Elijah put the mountain, Elijah Everything comes down. Verse 9 of Matthew 17 says, And as they came down the mountain, and Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man is risen from the dead. And the disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elias must first come? Because they had heard that priest, that Elijah would come first before Christ. So here they are with Christ. And they have seen Elijah upon the mountain. And they are saying, what is happening here? Verse uh, 12. Okay, verse 11. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. <laughs> Now, they were reading Malachi 4, verse 5 and 6. Five and six. The Bible says, Elijah shall, tr- shall come, Bible, not area, shall the prophet, Prophetia. and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to the fathers. There are two things that are being done. The heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to the fathers. In the book of St. Luke, the Bible says, John, John. Oh, this was the angel speaking to, to, to John's father, Zechariah says, He shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children. And he stops there. The part of turning the heart of the children to the fathers was supposed to be done by Malachi 4, verse 5 of the end time. Elijah of the end time. Because Elijah comes five times. Elijah the Tishbite. Elijah the Tishbite. Elisha, the son of Elisha, John the Baptist, William Branham, William Branham, and finally Elijah of Revelation seven and Revelation eleven. Elijah, what Revelation seven and Revelation? 11. Now, 
This Elijah, Elijah comes five times. So the great about Elijah comes. What are I for? Six of two Elijah. And when they saw one of the Elijah, they thought he was fulfilling both. So Jesus separates you. He says, But I say unto you, Elijah shall. Shall truly first come in the future. He shall come in the name called William Branham at the time. But I say unto you, Jesus said unto them, Elijah, William Branham, truly shall come and restore us. That's why we preach the message of restoration. Because we have been restored. Our hearts have been turned to the Father by the ministry of the prophet. So that was his part. So he's now separating the two. Elias shall truly first come and restore all things. In other words, William Branham shall recover, truly come and restore all things. Verse 12, but I say unto you, John the Baptist, Area. John the Baptist is already come and they knew him not but they guarantee him whatsoever they listened likewise shall the son of me suffer them he separates the two right Amen. why is he doing that he's trying to show us that these are two Elijahs but look at something here the next verse says then the disciples understood that he spoke of John the Baptist. So instead of them understanding that these are two Elijahs, they said, Oh, John. Oh, John. Many times people, many times people say they got it when they haven't got it. When you speak to white people, you are talking to something that he doesn't know. He has no idea. I know. I know. I know. What do you know? So many people will say, I know, I know. Why they know nothing? There were two people here. The disciples still did not know. What is happening here? The Bible has been fulfilled. By the reason. But the very people in the message of Christ have failed to see the fulfillment of Scripture in John the Baptist. And today, the foolish virgin is failing to see the fulfillment of Scripture among us. And they are slumbering and sleeping. So what happens? Christ is coming to take his. Christ and and the foolish virgin remain. Now here is where the pain is. If you are in here, you know the chronology of events. What is going to happen from now on, you know exactly. And when the rapture happens, you are going to come here and you open this door, they will give you the keys and you open this door and you sit in here and you find it time for change. But quite a number of people are not here. Maybe there are a few of you without the oil and you begin to say, but what has happened? Maybe they are having the same day the pastor. Let's drive there. And, they go. and you drive there. And you go and open the door. Oh, no, brother. You knock. Oh, no. Probably the door is open. You open it. You get inside there. And there is nobody. Then you, you begin to hear that voice. The rapture is gone. What is there supposed to be rapture? Could this be the rapture? I remember years ago when, when I came to the faith. I was still so new, a few months in the faith. I hardly understood anything, but I knew there was a rapture. So I used to stay about 8 kilometers from where the service was. But because the place was not fixed, one Sunday we are here, another Sunday there, another Sunday another Sunday there. So I went to church. I don't change. We stand walked all the eight kilometers. Eight kilometers. I was the first one usually to get to church. church. Service started at nine. Sunday school started at nine thirty. Sunday school at nine thirty. I was going to Sunday school. In the end of Sunday school. But I would get to church around six thirty. I stayed at six thirty. 
to clean the floor, to clean and arrange the chairs, to get the chairs. I would do that every Sunday. So I got there and I waited. Usually the trustees would come, start coming in. But those trustees would come in time. Those deacons would come in time. So I would wait. I would know that one or two cars would pull in. At least by eight. I waited. It was 7.30, quarter to 8. And I didn't have a watch. And that's now the sun. I was too poor to have a watch. So I realized there was something is wrong. So I decided they could they be behaving the service another four kilometers in another direction. Four kilometers. So I ran in that direction. Four kilometers. Four kilometers. And I went and got there. There was nobody. Then I. That is going back again to that place. For those who know Harare from Bari to Bet Waterfalls. I come from Locking Bar to Waterfalls. From Waterfalls to Bari. Coming from Bari going to Waterfalls. When I got to church, I was running. And this was just after about half eight. Then there were two cars. <laughs> brothers were arriving. I had already covered about 18 kilometers. And that was about 18 kilometers. But the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> but am I not running in vain here? Ah. We have been told that they will be running. <laughs> have I not missed the mark? <laughs> you can think of the agony. As you come here, we teach. We preach. You understand it. You believe it. But you don't have the oil. What happened? When you miss others, it's easy to cry at another man's funeral. Even your if your wife dies, you can cry to death. But after a while. They will take you aside and say, Uncle, please take a little bit of food so you can have strength to cry. Auntie, Auntie, please come. If you are a woman, you know, those aunties will take you into the room and lock the door. Please, please do this. These things happen. And you'll be gone. And you are eating. But your husband, you corpse is laying like there. But you are eating because you don't want to die. You want to survive. Because it's not you who is dying. But when you are mourning for yourself, you cry tears of blood. Nobody is going to say it. Yes, the raptures happen. There will be nobody to say that. You are going to cry and really cry until you have no more tears. But it's not only the crying, because the event will be so What is going to What we are seeing in a small scale now, which the prophet says is temporary judgment, sickness, plagues, all these things happening. Your body. It's already temporary place. Don't worry too much that you to dig. COVID times ten. You know that if you get left behind, there's going to be COVID times ten. You think of that week when we the total shutdown. How good was money? How good was your car? How good was your job? Everyone was locked down. We were given a focus of what things will be like. Now, this will not be a one-week shutdown. It will be a three and a half years shutdown. shutdown. You will be hungry until you can count your risk. Until you can see your empty intestine but you will not die the bible says they will cry to the mountain but death will flee from them i've got my own issues this year leave me alone go to a lion the lion i've eaten enough i've got my own issues that's when you cry. You, you hear yourself. Then the rope. As you see that. But you won't die. 
Uri pocha tu wakari pira wiko Eee, hey, hey, ngingu nda tri Kwa vanta ka ufunga zia zia You start thinking of those songs Zawai nga tinda You start thinking of those songs you are singing like you are lazy You know tango You start thinking of those things Foolish virgin Mandara That's where the foolishness is No but no fenda You begin to think Tango ufunga chai You begin to cry Chai ta stop but it will be too late. You know, when you cry and there is hope that out of your cry you come close to God. But when you cry and there is no recourse, you can't very difficult. Because you know you are crying, you are a soul in prison. Where Jesus died on the cross. The Bible says he went to preach to souls in prison. Who are disobedient in them days of war? What remember lying to me? you remember with me? Kay Nanga, I it was not just looking down. No, sorry, say sorry. Forgive me. Because I have Kuna, Kuna, she does there is no forgiveness here. Judas, Judas, Nes, Maruma Zura, and Tonga, who have my father told you to take us. Just yesterday, you were saying, One of our is now look at where you are. One of our Motorima apostle, you were an apostle. Look at where you are. Judas cried. He says there is no forgiveness here. I was with you on the cross. That's why you were cursing me. You were on my left. Now you see where you are. Where is your friend? He was preaching to souls in prison. People that cannot but repent. That are not allowed to repent. But yes, no, no, I just but now when people are allowed to repent, but no, what is people won't be doing it. Ah, so bad, but it's ah, okay. Okay. You don't need to rush this yeah. thing. Yeah. You see, church is difficult. You know, the you know, church the way. That pastor. If you see him with his glasses. Ah. Don't rush. Just wait a bit. Just wait a bit. You'll be telling yourself. Controlling yourself. But one of these days, the door will be shut. So people will be crying. Now look at the foolish virgin. They will be having intrinsic pressure. And extrinsic pressure. Intrinsic pressure is that they know what is happening. They have lost the plot. They are crying for that. In the outside. When the rapture happens, you know right now, the devil goes to heaven and stands before God. You say, see Lord, you call that one your son. You have brought him on our journey. That one your son. Look at what is coming. The Bible says he is the accuser of Bible. Bible not in the end for Mary with Hammer. Just like he did in the days of Job. That's why he is still doing. Those are telling us. Satan, where are you coming from? Who is Satan? I am Angel from Midland. No, I was in Midland. I just passed through the church in Midland. What boy they don't know what you see my children pray. And I don't know, but I should not go to Midland. But they wait for me. But you don't have a brother there. There is no man there. He was not in church. I don't think that guy is evil. But I might lie to you. Yes, I don't think that guy is evil. But I might lie to you. But I might lie to you. That the sister was sleeping. Did you not see him? Accuse the old! That's what the devil is doing. But when the rapture happens, the devil is kicked out and he comes down. Oh, yeah, And there is a demon in the body. There is a demon right now. That makes him a false prophet. He is not yet Size of shoes the devil put on. 
The purple will be the beast. Baba nigga that was the beast. The devil incarnate. I think I'm such a baba. So what does he do? I think I'll tell you. He will go to look for those who are in the beast. Baba Kassa. Who did not get the holy? Baba Kassa. So why are you crying about this? You are in the beast. There's no rain. There's no rain. You have to be part of them. You know, Father, I'm going to come to you. Oh, you die for your sin. You don't fear a chapu kucha. What can I do for you? When I kiss you, refuse for Christ to die for you. So you die for yourself. You know what I'm going to do? You die for yourself. Right now, because you know Christ died for us. His blood is atoning for us. You get the Holy Ghost. If you reject that, and you are foolish enough to be my friend, why is the devil is hunting? So, then you will be in trouble. You will have to die for your own testimony. So, inside the Holy Ghost, you will have to die for your own testimony. So, inside the Holy Ghost, you will have to die for your own testimony. So, inside the Holy Ghost, you will have to die for your own testimony. So, inside the Holy Ghost, you will have to die for your own testimony. So, inside the Holy Ghost, not only that, but things will be happening. Let me read this quotation. I hope I find it. Because I don't have anything here anymore. Um, so let me just try and get this quotation. Okay. All right. In the message, message. and know it is not, paragraph 165, Amen. says, Now watch the Spirit following you. As you know, there will come a time in the name of the Lord. He says in the name of the Lord. That says the Lord. He is right that you also. That people will go completely insane. You not paying. You go insane. What's that about? When you are left in the rush, you start going mad. As soon as you are foot. But knowing. You know what? Those people are paying us. It's so painful that you go insane. The Bible says so. Bible is not true. They will scream and wonder. Great hideous things in their imagination. And the radios and our television programs are producing it now. Have you seen the things that come out on TV? That you don't follow things on the TV. Hideous things. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
That's the tribulation. That's what is coming. You think someone will be there to help you? They'll be crying after their own brother. When I talk about South Uganda, would you go to work without skin? Brain is coming out of me. Go to work. We're not driving, but we're not How will you drive? They are not going to fuel. Who will put fuel for you? The, the, the men from the garage, the garage will be facing his own trouble. The baker can't make the bread anymore. They are facing their own trouble. Your own manager is facing his own trouble. Everyone is crying for themselves. Uno phone you will phone. Who are you going to phone? Wow. Who are you going to phone? No phone right. Which hospital will be open? Which paternalization of what? Because the very doctor, the doctor has, what? has his brain on the handkerchief. He has blown out his brain on the handkerchief. And he's crying for himself. The nurse has no tongue. The tongue is rotten. And he's falling off like that. And he said, Death, please, death, take me, take me. Not yet. What do you mean, like? Not yet. This is not the time to dance in your You have to stay and face your music. That's when you start thinking. You just suck Wow, wow, I can't eat So, is it alcohol that brought me here? Is it cigarettes? Not the money. Is it women? Could I marry? Is it money? Kunyepa. Is it lying? Kuba. Is it stealing? Kurova, church. Is it not coming to church? What is this? You have enough time to think about it. Enough time to cry. And there will be nobody to sympathize with you. You try to phone a pastor. Those pastors who are left behind will also be having their own issues. You won't even be able to call. Because the man who switches his own power is in trouble, so there is no power. The man who, who pumps the water is, is not pumping the water because there is no power. The one who has the keys for the shops is not there because they are praying, they are, they are crying. It will be a total shutdown. shutdown Not this shutdown that we say is shutdown. Down. When people are jogging in their house, there will be nothing to do. Nowhere to go. No bus on the road. No car on the road. All the above that. The Bible says. The sun will scorch men. You see what we have today? When we talk about heat waves, wave. did you ever know about heat waves when you grew up? There was nothing like heat waves. But now it's coming. It's already a temporary judgment. It's just a foretaste. Don't go to church. Play the way you are doing. You do what you do. They are spirit. Go and prostitute. You know the only one Women love you. And uh, go. He has money to pay you. Never marry. Take the light one. Take the light one. Take the light one. Tomorrow you 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 take the light one. All the types that you like. How are you? No one will refuse. We are young free moral agents. Do you think that? But one day, when your brain is coming out of your ear, when your eye drops from your eyeball, when there is a total shutdown, you remember these words. You'll be like Samson. Tears coming out of sockets where there are no eyes. So the sun will scorch people. The next day, the sun is still there. And they scold the people. In Egypt, when the plagues were falling, under Moses, the Bible says there was a tangible darkness. That they rose not from where they slept. For three days. Now these were three days. Three days. How much more if it's three years? Because there are three years. You know, if the sun is absent, this world will be covered in snow in no time. So, one day, 
That is coaching. Will you be bent? And your faith will be fried. What you are walking there? You are trying to come out of the house. And the sun coaches you. Right, you are like this one is what is it? Go back inside. The next day, they they is so sad, they Those wounds are shrieking. It's painful. There is no one to tell that I don't even know. The Bible says two will be one bed. One is taken, the other is a Maybe you are a brother. Your, your wife was a good Christian. Only God feels she goes. And you are left alone. You have no one to tell. You are a wife. You play games. They are not You are a child. The parents go. You are a parent. The child go. You have no one to tell. That will be the hour. The Bible says people will cry. To the rocks and the mountains. A bird. Wings that are five miles. Five miles a day. And you are still in pain. You, you cry and scream. That's when you realize that you are not smart. Why is it today? That's that Why the gospel is preached today? This is the time when people should be running to the old and kneeling down and crying. Yes, you can't. Come, call him on the road. Ask him for mercy. But people, oh, I don't know what's wrong with us people. We have this tendency that we are caught up in our self-righteousness. God will not throw me away. God will not throw me away. Not me. No, 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 and the one who helps the person, oh, brother Ningi, brother Ningi, brother so and so, I bought him a tire. Papa, 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 the Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost. The rapture is the rapture. It was also when I was talking about the rapture. Because the foolish virgin will be saved. It has a good explanation. But to seal their testimony, they have to die for their testimony. So when the devil comes into the pot, he will be going after most of the lives. And after anyone who does not subscribe to the mark of the beast, I think one thing I single I think I tell them Think of it today. When you hear that there is maybe xenophobia, some happening in some place. Xenophobia. Would you go there? No, You're afraid. No, you want to lock yourself in your room. No, and say, no, I can't go there. You are trying, you trying to save yourself. Now think of it this way. The Pope will be looking for people who can save the mark of the beast. To kill Taurai. And you have to die. If you don't die, then you join them. If you join them, you are lost. That's the foolish virgin. So don't be that foolish. What time is it now? Okay, we have a bit of time. We want to read certain scriptures. Let's go to Revelation chapter 16, I believe. It. Revelation 16. Revelation 16. Just want to find something there. Revelation 16, from verse 1. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. So, what are vials? Vials are Containers. My vials, my container, in here also. And inside the vials are plagues. Are we together? So right now, these vials are on. But they are in a mouth form. During the tribulation, they will be full-fledged. 
So the Bible is saying here. Bible is The angel said to the seven angels which had seven vows. Go out the vows. He poured upon the After the rapture. During those three and a half years. Three and a half years. The first went and poured out his vow upon the earth. And look down that kind of an era. Panika. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon men. Men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his in it. A noisome and grievous soul. The Bible doesn't have language Bible. to describe what it is. But it says noisome and grievous. What's that? It's like one has boils from the top of their head to the sole of your Everyone, as you, if you try to walk, you have to step on your boil and it will blow. Imagine the pain. If you have 200 on them, of them on your I went to rice. You can't sleep on your bed because on your bed because they are all over. You can't sleep on your table because they are all over. Not on the side because they are all over. You can't stand up there under the feet. What do you do? Foolish virgin, wake up! Verse 3 and the second angel pulled out his mouth upon the feet. You see, those boy, no, that in verse 2. Who did that in Egypt? Moses. Because Moses is here. Elijah is here. So they will be repeating what he did. Verse 3 and the second angel pulled out his mouth upon the feet. And it became blood. The blood of a dead man. It's not just blood. But it became the blood of the dead man. And the ragamar rupa remuna akafa. The most distinguishing creature upon the face of the earth. When it dies, it's not a dog. It's a human being. Moon, moon, moon akawora. If a man rots, man mirage. The way that they smell. Anuraya kills. Uno fani moon way moon akawora. You die of that smell. Now what? What about you? What you found? People will be rotting what they want. And the Bible is saying. The second vial, when it's poured, the sea will turn into human blood. Rotten blood. That's what the sea will do. The blood of a dead man. And every living soul that died in the sea. Why is every living dying? This is run after Amagidon because Amagidon is the one who wipes out everything. So things are beginning to die. Right now we talk of animals that are going to extinction. It's already a forty. We are going up there. Right? Amen. Verse four. And the third angel poured out his vow upon the river. And the fountains of water. And they became blood. I have a bow in my hand. I have a bow. So I'm finding beneath the water to the blood. The angel poured the vow upon the water. You open the tap like this. And clothes of the woman. And clothes of the woman. So it means during the tribulation, there is no bathing. During the tribulation, there is no drinking water. But you won't die. That's all. Foolish person! I played with you! Look for the Holy Ghost. The rivers became blood. And in this, the sea blood. Fountain of water came blood. And I heard the angel of the water say, Who is the angel of the water? Why would? What did he say? Thou art Christ, O Lord, which art, which was, and shall be, because thou hast judged the 
For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets. And thou hast given them blood to drink. For they are worthy. And you say, I have not killed the prophet or a saint. When you sit down in your tea, get in your tea. That pastor. The pastor, I know it. What are you That bow. Man, I hear it. That one. I don't think it's going in. Nah, but I won't die. You look at his wife. Sometimes my wife walks. My family has she drink your tea. The prophet says you are killing. The God says when you gossip, you are stepping someone in the way. You are killing. When you speak bad about your brother, bad about your sister, bad about another church you are a murderer. And if you are a murderer, the Bible is saying, what would say, thou art righteous Because these people shed the blood of innocent saints and they were given the human blood to drink because they are worthy. Huh? And I heard another out of I I and I heard another out of the altar say and the one who move from altar to altar even so Lord God Almighty true and righteous are thy judgment even Mary Magarurama and the fourth angel pulled out his bar upon the sun yakadira e diro ya yo pasuba and Power given unto him to scorch men with fire. And the So the sun becomes a fire. Now they are talking about global warming. Because the layer is wearing out and everything. The prophet says God does not destroy man. Man destroys himself with his own whisper. Man is broken into God's laboratory. And now they are messing up with nature. And is going to turn up the That's your seal. Your tribulation. The sun is going to fry you. It's already happening. In Europe, Europe, Canada, Canada said they were using used to cool weather. Right now, every year, because no Sometimes thousands of people are dying from heat waves. What is that? It's temporary judgment. Too much judgment. You are asking if the meat is ready. No, uh, if the meat is ready, let me give you a piece so you can taste. You want to, you want to feel it. You want to taste it. So they are being given a full taste. The sun become an oven, baking people. But the one thing is, people will not die. They will be fried, but not dying. Imagine, sister, when you are doing your egg, when you turn the egg, and that oil just sits there. Sits there. And then you just a little bit of oil. Just a drop of oil flies onto your skin. To my foot, I turn that pa 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 roka. Oh, brother, don't shout! 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 Don't Brother, anyway, to talk. The brother will also be frying. Huh? So the sun scorches men. A man was scorched with great heat. And blasphemed the name of God, which had power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. But when you are shattered, 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 when you are shatt
Wakatenga rurimi nekumadzwa. Wapopwa. You are Mr. Popwa. That's Popwa. Wachatenga rurimi nekumadzwa. Chew his tongue of pain. Wateleka. Not allowed. And all those that will be left behind. Wanagambo ziruma chizwa. Have you ever bitten your tongue? Yes. When you are eating. How painful is that? So what's the sin? Now, the Bible doesn't say you shall bite your tongue. It says you chew your tongue. You will be chewing your tongue. You know somebody who has epilepsy. You have to put a cooking stick or something to stop them from chewing your tongue. But you chew your tongue until it cuts in pieces and drops out of your mouth and the remaining part will be rotting and pus will be dripping out of your mouth. And you'll be alive. Good I'm going now. iPhone 15 will go now. You'll have an iPhone 15. S24 will go now. You'll have an S24. But it won't help you. I'm bad today. Your tank will be full. Tank will be full. It will be like that. It will be like that. They chewed, they chewed their tongues when they were scorched by the sun. Amen. Amen. Verse 6, 11, and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains in and their souls and repented not of their deeds. And the sixth angel pulled out his bar upon the seat the great river Euphrates and the water thereof was dried up and the way of the kings of the east might be prepared church it's amazing that today they are actually talking that this, talking of the river Euphrates drying up it's already drying up these things happen spiritually. It won't be literal. You won't be seeing an angel with a big dish in It's spiritual. And I saw three, three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon. And I dragon. Dragon is the devil. And out of the mouth of the beast, the beast will be the Pope then. And out of the mouth of the false prophet. The false prophet is still the Pope today. Right? For they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth into the kings of the earth of the whole world to gather them together to the great day of the battle of Almighty God. So people will now be mobilized for that great day of the battle. Now they are not mobilized like they are going to the, to the army to fight a battle. But the three and a half years will culminate into the war of Armageddon. Where I say thank God for the atomic because the war of Armageddon will be fought by atomic and nuclear power and we thank God for that because to us it's good I'll show you how it's good but it says here they will be gathered to that great battle of the day of almighty God because you see, three and three spirits. What are they? It's the Trinity doctrine being driven by the Pope. So they won't abandon their Trinity doctrine. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed are is he that watcheth has the Akaropa for the Ochenget and Wozaki, lest he walk naked and they see his shape. Just as a family as not pick of our own names, what are coming? Chico, come and talk about the Holy Ghost again. My game is that we are Jimmy and Jenny. And he gathered them together into a place called in Hebrew town Armageddon. The war of Armageddon, the war of Armageddon will literally wipe off everything that is living upon the face. You remember what the prophet says about that destruction? He said in the Greek it's called Paralekomia. And the Greek it was the Paralekomia. A total change of 
changed. When this world will be changed, only the frame remains. But it will be totally changed. Why is that happening? Say, first of all, it's, it's atomic and nuclear power doing it. It's simply atomic and nuclear power. Your ocean. The Bible says there will be no more sea there. The Bible says there will be no more sea there. The ocean is ah, H2O. My ocean is Ibura. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Two, two molecules of hydrogen. Two molecules of hydrogen. And one of oxygen. No, one of oxygen. Right? This one. What is hydrogen? Hydrogen T. Hydrogen is a bomb on its own. Hydrogen is a bomb, Bashar. Oxygen. Oxygen. It's a burning substance. You just wait until you feel it. So the ocean is a bomb. I just packed it one. So the the atomic bombs, the nuclear ah, power, who ignite the ocean. The ocean and then. Peter says, Peter the earth shall pass away, he and the earth is with a great noise. Why is the great noise? Atomic power, power. Bomb. nuclear power. Nuclear power. But why do you thank God for it? The earth was baptized in the name of God, sanctified by the blood of Christ, and today it must receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Because those with the Holy Ghost who come to live upon this earth, so they can live upon this earth without it receiving the Holy Ghost too. So the atomic power, nuclear power, will baptize the world with the Holy Ghost, lighting it for the saints to come down for the millennium. Malachi chapter 4 verse 1 to 3. Malachi 4, 1 to 3. Verse 1 to 3. For you shall tread down the wicked. So there will be ashes under the wood of the floor. During the millennium. What is the ashes? Remember, hell is not happened. The burning place is not yet. But this atomic power, this nuclear power, this all of Amagetos, at the end of the three and a half years, so if you are foolish you may escape being killed by the four you may hide and survive but the next thing is the whole family who indiscriminately destroy everything right now people are reeling under small things like wars in ukraine where the house is bent, the car is bent, the office is bent, the university is bent, there is no more certificate to talk about, the one at home is bent, the one at the college is bent, your office is bent, the insurance company wants to claim from it is bent, the bank, the bank is bent, where do you go? They are all the same now. The one who is staying under the bridge and the one who is staying in a five-story house, you become brothers, brethren, of the same trouble. This is tribulation. This is the soul. There was nothing like my house, my son, my sister, my working. The Bible is saying that people will go for the war of Armageddon. That's what will destroy everything. That's why today, the war in Israel is causing Russia, Russia, the one leg of the image of Nebuchadnezzar, and America, the other leg of the image of Nebuchadnezzar, they are busy amassing nuclear power. Because this world is only you. It's either you are a son or a grandson of Russia, or you are a son or grandson of America. End of story. No, but this is independent. Abana 18 April. Abana 18 April. There is no independence there. They are gone. You belong to this or that. So what is happening? There is an arms race. Everyone is making nuclear power. Silently or publicly. Now, why is God allowing that? He wants men to amass enough nuclear power to destroy himself and the earth. So as long as there is not enough nuclear power, there is no rapture. So that's why I said you thank God for nuclear power. Because the more of it, the closer we are to the power.
and we have something that will cleanse the earth for us. Let's take the shoes, this is enclosed. So he said, yeah, they went for the battle of Armageddon. Verse 17, and the seventh angel pulled out his vow into the air, and they came a great voice out of the temple of in heaven, and from the throne of God saying, it is done. The end is coming. Nothing is existing. It is done. The end. The seventh seal. The end of the church. The end of fire. The end of plagues. The end of trumpets. The end of troubles upon the earth. The end of everything. It is pronounced in the seventh seal. This will be the end pronounced by the seventh seal. And we are approaching the seventh day. The Sabbath. Sabbath. If you are a foolish virgin, this will be your, your end. Then you will be dead for a thousand years. Without knowing where you will be going after. Until the day of judgment. Then on the day of judgment, you are separated the sheep from God. That's when you, you really be convinced that you are going to hell. After a thousand years, because you will be knowing that those who serve the Lord do not have a way back on the day of judgment. Being that you were a virgin, it means you did not do things that caused your name to be blotted out of the book of life. So you only be saved because your name was sustained in the book of life. And you stay outside of New Jerusalem. Inside New Jerusalem is the Christ and his wife. But those who are saved, the white throne judgment, you stay outside New Jerusalem. Of course, they will be having eternal life. Yes, but they are another grade. That's what happens. Those church cases. So it's your choice today. Choose ye. Like Elijah from Mount Sinai. How long? How deep between two opinions? If God be God, save him. Get the Holy Ghost. Don't be someone who is not stable. stable. Someone who is unsure, you don't even know where you are going, you are not too sure whether you are going to or not, you are not too sure about this and about that, you still have the opportunity. Why not you exploit the opportunity and do the right thing? But what is man standing? Procrastination is the thief of time. I will. When I finish this, then I can fast. When I finish this, then I can pray. Next year, come 2024. I'm going to pray. I'm going to drop everything. Why not today? Why are you waiting for 2024? <laughs> Who told you that you will be alive in 2024? <laughs> I'm not even too sure that I'm going to finish this same one alive. I may collapse right here and die. Of course, some, someone will say he has been struck by the Lord. He died behind the pulpit, he has been struck by the Lord. No, evil people, when evil happens to you, they will say the Lord has struck you. When evil happens to them, they hide. And say, I'm being tried. Ah, the devil is trying me hard. The same thing happens to you. You are struck by the Lord. Sorry for another day. But church, I'm saying to you, won't you come to the Lord? And just make sure that your life is Because the hour is late. There's just no more time to play around. No more time to reconsider and consider and think. It's time to make sure that you are right with the Lord. Because surely the rapture will happen. Surely some people are going. And surely some people are being left behind. And those who are being left behind. We are not talking about denominations. The Bible says foolish 
Virgin. It means these are virgin. No, no, what you mean, they are clean. They are message believers no, no, what you mean, who are clean. No, what you mean, but they don't have the Holy Ghost. Why don't you get the spirit of the Lord tonight? This morning and say, Lord, they help me. I just want to be ready for the coming of the Lord. I don't care what people think about me. I care what people say. I care about what the Lord says. Because the hour is late. The doors are closed. When he shuts, nobody opens. When he opens, nobody shuts. If you are like that, brother, sister, this is your day. This is your moment. Won't you just say, Lord, help me? Maybe someone wants to go down on their knees. Someone wants to stand up. Someone wants to go to the altar. It's all up to you. But make sure that your life is right with the Lord. There is just no more time. Come home. Come home. Never more. To roam, open wide thy arms of love, Lord, I'm coming home. I've wasted many precious years, now I'm coming home. I now repent. And with bitter tears, Lord, I'm coming home, coming home, coming home, never more to roam. Open wide thy arms of love. If you have the Holy Ghost, you don't have to worry. But if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you are missing an opportunity. Like the disciples missed John, they did not know he had come and gone already. And you are missing an opportunity. On the day, on your day when you get through these things, you will remember this day. You will curse yourself. You will cry tears, but it will be too late. Come in, oh. Coming home, never more to roam. Open wide thine arms of love, Lord, I'm coming home. Heavenly Father, we are here before thee, Lord, this morning, precious Lord. We need no other argument, no other plea. But Father, just to know that you died for us, that is enough. Lord, that is enough to give us conviction to go on our knees. Lord, to cry tears of the heart, tears of repentance, and cry unto thee and say, Lord, help us. Father, it will not help us to cry then, and we don't want to be here then, Lord. We want to settle it all this side of the river. Like our prophet said, I don't want no trouble when I get to the river. Lord, we want to make sure that, Lord, while we are this side, as you say, judgment must begin in the house of the Lord. Father, this world is going, fading away. And as the message is preached, Lord, Father, it's judging us. In judging our lives, asking us a question, Lord, whether we have the Holy Ghost or we don't. And Lord, we know our position. We know the truth about ourselves, Lord. Help us not to deceive ourselves, Lord, in the comfort and warmth of sitting around and thinking that we will make it if we are among believers. But Lord, help us as individuals, Lord Jesus. Father, with our prayer, Lord, that you help us one and all. May you touch us, Lord, by your word. Give us that conviction of the Holy Ghost in our hearts. That realization, oh Lord, 
that father one day it will be too late. One day the day those will be closed oh God. And time will be over. Lord, there will be no more church. There will be no more love of brethren, Lord. There will be no more sisters to console us. There will be no more children, no parents to console us, Lord. It will be our own affair facing the angry Lord without the Holy Ghost, Lord. Oh, Lord, I pray unto thee. Your pastors, your children, give us grace, Lord, and mercy that while it is today, may we not harden our hearts, oh God, but may we seek, Lord, the Holy Ghost to work within our hearts. Lord Jesus Christ, to take us, Lord, from where we are. Lord, and help us to walk that way of holiness, Father, with the pureness of hearts on my Father. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, may you help your children as they pray, Lord. May you hear their prayers, oh, my Father. May you answer their prayers, Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, may you come, Lord Jesus, and brood over us, Lord, and challenge us to believe all your words. Heavenly Father, to live for all your words. To speak the truth with our mouths, oh God. Heavenly Father, to know, Lord, that this gospel of the kingdom has to be preached and the truth has to be said. Father, it's my prayer, Lord, that you help me. Lest after preaching to many, Lord, I be cast away myself, Lord. Oh. Help me too, Lord. I look up to thee, Father. I thank you, Father, for the truthfulness of the word. I thank you for the prophet you gave us. I thank you, Father, for the Bible, Lord, and the message. I thank you for the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus, that you are here, Lord, to take, take us, Lord, in our hearts, that we may be ready for your coming. How we thank you, Father. How we worship you, Father. How we glorify your holy name. Be thou with us, Lord, as we depart from here. May we not depart from your presence, but may we stay true and faithful to your word. We thank you, King Jesus. We worship you and magnify your holy name. Have thine own way, Father, in our lives. We surrender ourselves unto thee. In the precious and wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.